Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18 and in this video I will show you guys 10 reasons why I think this is the right time for you to install iOS 18 on your device even though we're still on beta 8 which is the last beta of iOS 18 before we get the RC version and then the public release. This is basically the final release of iOS 18. There will be no more changes and no more features added to iOS 18 before it gets released to the public. So here are 10 reasons why I think this is the right time for you to jump in and install iOS 18 on your device. First of all, it's very easy to download. Most people, when they think about a beta, they think that it's a complicated process, but all you have to do is just sign in with your Apple ID on Apple right here. So what you need to do is go to this website, which I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. So it's beta.apple.com. You sign in right here with your Apple account. And all you have to do now is head on to your settings, go under general right here on the software update you go to beta updates and you just select the public beta or the dev beta they are basically the same whichever one you want and then you go back here refresh this page and you will get your update for ios 18. the next reason why i think you should update right now to ios 18 it is that it's stable enough now of course when installing a beta especially a big release like ios 18 it is buggy and a lot of people are afraid that it will mess up their device and they won't be basically ready to use or they won't be able to use it on daily basis but ios 18 right now is almost done it's basically done when it comes to features and changes probably we will have some minor like adjustments with the rc release but it's basically done and it's very very stable by now it's actually pretty smooth it works as it should so you don't have to worry about stability you can just go ahead and install it right now and then comes the performance and as you can see right here we're running a test and as you can see it actually performs really really well better than ios 17 which is of course an update that is now already gone it's done it won't get any more updates of course just despite a few minor updates now you can see the score right here the single core score is at 2935 while we have an amazing multi-core score at 7300 and 93 here on the iphone 15 pro max so again it's an amazing update when it comes to stability and performance as well the next thing is the battery life now of course with the upcoming updates of ios 18 like 18.1 18.2 and so on during the year it will improve but it's actually not that bad at all it's actually quite good so you can see the last 10 days right here and we have the battery percentages right here we're about right there like about 75 percent battery six hours 34 minutes then right here around 85 percent battery eight hours 24 minutes here we have 70 percent battery five hours 20 minutes 75 percent battery seven hours 50 minutes it's actually quite good and keep in mind that this up uh, basically this battery is at 92 percent battery health so it's not that high and again we're getting quite decent battery lives with ios 18. Now another thing of course is the customization. Apple has added some amazing new features with iOS 18 on the home screen. You can now do actually quite a lot. As you can see we have the dark mode icons going here. You can do other things if you go to customize. You can have larger icons without labels. You can tint your icons that will be automatically done based on the colors of your wallpapers. You can add a dark thing to your wallpaper when it in dark mode it actually looks quite good. Of course you can now place the icons anywhere you want on the screen of your iPhone which is again a great feature and you can also now add widgets for your apps directly from here without having to go to the add widget section i can just go ahead and 3d touch here on the clock if i want to and then i can turn this actually into a widget so it's pretty cool as you can see you just have the button you turn it into a widget or if you have a widget you can turn it into an app as easy as that have the button again it's an app and as you can see it will actually bring back the app to its place where it was before you turned it into a widget 
and then of course are the amazing new features the new control center we have the ability now to lock apps with face id as you can see right here or touch id or passcode whichever one you want to use we have some amazing features like the ability to change the toggles on the lock screen of course on the control center as well and there are a ton of new features that apple has added to ios 18 of course all the cool new features that apple has added to the photos app the calculator app is totally different with a lot of new features the ability to convert things of course the new mail app the new features on safari especially the one to just disable the distracting items like this it's pretty cool so it's actually quite a lot of new features that Apple has added to iOS 18, which should make this a great update for iPhone users. Now, another reason I think this is the time for you to install iOS 18 is to just get used to it. Of course, iOS 18 will be released in about three weeks from now. It should be released on September 16th, right here a week after the presentation of the new iphone 16 but during that time you can go ahead and just just play around with ios 18 get your hands on it just play with the new features with the customization and all that and if you're planning to get a new iphone the iphone 16 series then you will be ready for your new iphone you know what to expect from that device and which features you only get so you can just go ahead and get used to those features right now now if you have an iphone 15 pro or a 15 pro max then of course a great new reason to actually update your device to iOS 18, but in this case to 18.1, which is again on beta, but it's actually the same as iOS 18. It's very stable, it performs really good, and the battery life is not that bad either. Then of course, the other reason is the AI, new AI features that Apple has added to iOS 18.1. As you can see right here, I can just go ahead and select the text, I can go to the writing tools right here. We have a ton of different writing tools. We have a ton of new features. Now we have the summarization for notifications. We can pick whichever app you want to get a summarization of that app. We have the call recording feature for the phone app. We also have the new UI for Siri and we're expecting of course also the new features to come to the mail app again with the next updates. But this update is also again really, really good. And with the latest one that Apple has released, we also have the cleanup tools and all that for the Photos app. So if you have a 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max, I think it's really good time for you to test out all the cool new AI features, especially if you're planning to buy an iPhone 16 or 16 Pro, then you can just go ahead and learn those features much, much earlier. And the last reason is, of course, the fixes that Apple has done. There have been a lot of bugs, especially on the control center when it comes to adding new toggles or just moving them around. Then on the home screen, the icons, the tint and the dark mode and the light mode, switching between those sometimes would be actually really bad, especially if you had it on automatic. Like when switching to a different mode, some of the icons would stay. Let's say you're switching to dark mode, they would stay still on the light mode. Now that has been fixed and as you can see, it works really, really well. So again, this is a, also a great reason for you to update to iOS 8 right now because most of the usual bugs that you have probably heard regarding iOS 18 are now already fixed. So that is it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did and of course subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you on the next one.